The rest, as they say, is history. Martin and Lewis made their first movie in 1949, a film called My Friend Irma, which was followed by eight very successful years and 15 more films. During that time, a lot of stress began to appear between Martin and Lewis, largely because so much attention was focused on Jerry and away from Dean, as he tells our correspondent, Maria Shriver. When I was playing with Jerry Lewis, I knew that in every picture I played with him, that pan over to Jerry you know, doing something with a monkey, right? Then that come back to me while I was ending a song. It happened in every picture, and I got sick and tired of it. That's why I left. There was no big to do about it. I got an ulcer from doing that, and I knew, not being braggadocia, but I knew being back that I could do something else besides just sing or walk with a girl in the movies and and slap a kid around, you know. I had, to, I knew I had something. And Dean did have something. He had style, good looks, and a voice. I must have been a beautiful baby. You must have been a wonderful child. When you were only stopped to go to kindergarten, I bet you told a little boy it was. And when it came to win blue ribbon, I bet you showed the other kids how. I can see the judge's eyes, and they slapped you with a prize. Bet you made the cutest bow. Oh, you must have been an adorable baby. At the same time that Dean Martin was starring with Jerry Lewis in the movies, he also signed a recording contract with Capitol Records. His first hit in the summer of 1950 was a song called I'll Always Love You. But it wasn't until 1953 that Dean Martin really hit big with a song called That's Amore. I said, how could anybody buy anything with a moon hits your eye with a big pizza pie? I said, I think that's horrible. I, it, it's terrible. And it just clicked, and th that was it. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's the morning. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's the morning. That's the rain. Dean betters the Beatles, next on Portrait of a Legend. Take your lashes as far as they can go with Maxi Lash 24-Hour Mascara. Take it. Not just long lashes. Not just long lashes that last. Take it. But long, smudge-proof lashes that last 24 hours long. Come on and take it. Take your lashes to the Maxi. Take it to the Maxi. Maxi Lash 24-Hour Mascara. The maximum performance mascara from Max Factor. Red chapped hands. I hate them. Mentholate them. Scratches, scrapes. I hate them. Mentholate them. Medicate them. Penetrate them. Leviate them. Mentholate them. The natural menthol and mentholate ointment brings soothing relief to skin irritations. Dry rough elbows. Hate them. Mentholate them. Cracked lips. Abominate them. Mentholate them. Medicate them. Penetrate them. Leviate them. Mentholate them.
I think the best songs I sing are love songs, nice and slow and easy, because I, I enjoy those. They're, they're pretty songs, you know. When you're gone, there'll be that someone said who loves you still. You will look at him and see me smiling back at you. I know you will. And you will find yourself repeating Things we used to do, I know you will. Obviously, rock and roll is not Dean Martin's style, no more than his pictures with Jerry Lewis were his style. Oh, what, did you ever see one of the Martin and Lewis pictures? They made me sick. All I know, it was the same story over and over again. And I was the bad guy for the whole, whoa, oh, the three and a quarter of the whole picture, and at the end, I became a nice guy. So, in 1956, the team of Martin and Lewis finally split up, leaving Dean Martin confused and scared. I was figuring on going back to uh, dealing blackjack, back to my old, old job, dealing. Because when I left Jerry, I was more scared than he was, and nobody knew it. But I was. I didn't know what I was going to do. After Martin and Lewis split up, the gossip columns were filled with speculation about how Dean Martin could never make it on his own. And that speculation was further fueled by the film he made, a flop called 10,000 Bedrooms. But just when things seemed their darkest for Dean Martin, the phone rang. I got a, a phone call when I was in Pittsburgh from my manager from MCA. and. He asked me the most stupid question I've ever heard in my life. He said, would you mind doing a picture with Marlon Brando and Montgomery Cliff? I said, I'd, I'll do it for nothing. And I practically did do it for nothing because my first picture was flop. It was a bad script, but uh, then uh, from the Young Lions, I went to some came running with Frank, and then with I made four with John Wayne, Mitchell, with all the big stars, and things all happened for me. Among other films that happened for Dean Martin were the Matt Helm series and his latest film, Cannonball Run. I want to thank you for stopping, son, because we always stop the ambulance, you know, so we can bless who's ever in there. And you paramedics are doing such a wonderful job. Yeah, well, we're in kind of a hurry, so if you could just bless it and then we'll be... Oh, I got to bless her. Oh, I'm sorry, Father. She's a Zen Buddhist, and uh, you're not a Zen Buddhist, so you can't oh, bless Oh, we specialize in blessing Zen Buddhists. Yeah. Second thought, Father, you want to you wanna bless him? We need all the help we can get. Just give him a little shot. Cannonball Run is the name of Dean Martin's latest film, and it was like a cannonball that his recording career took off in the 50s. He hit the charts with Memories Are Made of This, Volare, and Return to Me. Return to me. Oh, my dear, I'm so lonely. Hurry back, hurry back. Oh, my love, hurry back. I am yours. Return to me. 